Hello, greetings, my friends. I hope you're having a wonderful day. For we, we have to cultivate the idea of this this wonderful, blissful day and every day to 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 be open to this this uh, new possibility and not allow ourselves to be to be distracted by by all kinds of distractions. I want to say that um, we all come from the one source. We all come from um, f f from God, and there's only one source. And put the love of God always above all else, for that is really the truth of all that is. Uh, and we all deserving to be to 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 receive this love of God. But in order to 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 recognize to to be recognized by God, we have to recognize God, the source. What is the source? The Creator. And how do we do that? We do that through, through the practice of, of compassion, that is love, the practice of lucidity, that is wisdom, and the practice of courage, which is the perfection of our character. We need to unfold those qualities within ourselves in order to tune into the unconditional love that is the only true frequency and that, that connects us to the source. So, so it is day after day we have to connect to, that, um, to this energy of love. Um, and so um, I'm going to pull a few cards. If you're a private session, do not hesitate to send me an email. I thank you for your likes, your comments, your subscriptions, and um, and your like and your likes. So we, we there's a lot of breakthroughs that are about to come, and the, the the past is family. For we are only one family here on the and in the universe. We'll come to realize there is just one family, but we we're still understanding that we need to come together with those who resonate with our frequency, with our ideas, so we can we can complement each other. Right now, it's justice. It is about coming returning to the sense of equilibrium and balance, the sense of justice, and the future will be optimism. What we are working on now is cultivation of our dreams to make our dreams come true. We all came with a dream. We have to not compromise our dream, to trust that we deserve to receive what we've been asking for and that the universe can bring it to us. And the outcome will be the solution. The solutions will, will, will show, show themselves. So it's about being open to receive, to receive, to, 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 stay, to stay at peace in order to receive. For there is still many issues that needs to be, um, that, needs, that will need to be dealt with that, that are very old issues, like issues from the continent named Atlantis, that, uh, that, that every, every civilization in the past rise, fall, and the rise, pick, and fall. For, for the, uh, usually they fall because the, the, the civilization does not uh, comply with the, the well-being of all its inhabitants or, or the, the well-being of nature of them his ability to sustain itself. But there is a peak at Atlantis. There were 200,000 years of golden age. And, and this, this peak is like stable peace, the, the ability to have joy, love, and happiness for all beings that live there. And it's what's called the golden age. This is really where we're going towards a new golden age that will not, that will not fall. That's, that's, then you will end up in a tornado to, to, to unfold into a platinum age that will last for a very long time, that will prepare the world for spiritualizations afterwards. But, um, but those conflicts of Atlantis, those unresolved issues will have to be addressed. Uh, for now, we have to let go of the dependence we have on technology. It is very important to tune in this year to the soul. The soul is the, the, the technology is working against the soul in some sense. We can still use technology. We just, uh, um, but the, the soul is really what connects us to the Creator. So we'll have this year. We'll find a better balance between our inner self. Our, our soul and the, the and the technology we use for um, for for it's going to be very much this year the desire to align our mental our physical emotional to the soul to unite with our soul and for the acceleration and the expansion will continue um, but we want to ask uh, we want to ask to to allow ourselves to move through the process with greater ease with more grace to for for all things to unfold naturally for the heart is the gateway is the gateway to supreme love to be manifested and so to continue to to clear up your heart and to feel your heart to feel the love within your heart and that you can share for love is felt when it is shared it's shared between you and God or shared between uh, human beings or shared with nature. And there is a reciprocation in, in, in true love. For love has to be unconditional, it does not need reciprocation. If there is, it's, it's a given, but, but then usually there's always a mirror reflection to what we give. For life is like a boomerang. Every, every energy out is to, comes back. What we think, we become. Uh, and, and what we feel, we make real. Very important to understand that. So we want to sit peacefully with the coming event, with the power of love, and not take the drama seriously, yet to take the playfulness more seriously, to take the joy more seriously, to take the well-being more seriously. Um, 
Also, I want to say it's important when we talk here, I talk in a very general fashion. I'm not really sure who's going to listen to my videos, but when you when you have a physical audience that you talk to, it's to be able to calibrate your, your message, to know, to understand the structural beliefs of reality that the people are living in, in order for 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 to bring a teaching that is accepted, that can be accepted and understood. Um, well, here you can talk about very general fashion. I know for me a lot of the healings that I need to complete will come through my work that is coming. So, um, but we we we're working towards this completion this year. Uh, the highest wisdom is uh, chopping woods. It means uh, like preparing, getting ready. <laughs> it's about getting ready for what is to come. We, we we know what is to come because it's been revealed through our intention, through, through our intuition, through, through the feeling state of life. What we need to understand is the message in the bottle. It's reading the signs. We, we, if we don't get clear messages of telepathy, but we we want to ask that we 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 sit and, and able to communicate with our soul and spirits and spirit guides through telepathy. But until then, we can be paid paying attention to the signs. What we need to do is the orphan, is to find our place in the world, to reconnect to the source, to find our empowerment. And the outcome is a great blessing. It's a blessing from heaven. It is something that is and that is beyond our expectation that is coming. So so do not um, do not doubt that for a moment as much as possible. Um, also wanted to say that when we sleep, we move into another dimension of reality. We go through a black hole and we move into this other dimension. For To move from dimension to dimension, we have to go through black holes, which we do not understand yet the natures of black holes, but um, for what they call black holes are dark islands of space. They are collapsed stars, but they're not holes. <laughs> they just absorb matter and energy in order to recharge themselves. But we'll come to realize that, that the, the, the true black hole that we connect to is like a, is, is on the very base root of our energy. It's the zero point that we, we traverse when we wake up or when we go to, to sleep. But we, we all have this, this hole, this black hole, and there are white holes and blue holes and all kinds of energies that we'll come to discover. So when we sleep, we, we move into this other dimension, but we do not have the critical mind. So, so it's like we allow us to, to do so much more and to learn so much more. What we also learn is that we no longer need to... to for a very long time, we were waiting for big revelations, for, for uh, catastrophes, for, for, for dark blackouts, uh, three days of darkness, for solar flashes, to say we're going to wake up when that happens. But we've been disappointed because it's been, it's been announced and it, never, it didn't come really the way we were expecting it. So it's about letting go of expectation. And no, we don't need that to awaken. It's all happening within our heart. We don't need big political shift to awaken the love within our heart. And, um, and, and as we do that, we accelerate the shift from an energetic level. We have to release expectation and attachment to outcome, for we cannot control outcome. We have to trust the higher forces that are at work. So it's like we're, we've been we've been a caterpillar, and now we are inside this cocoon, and then and then the cocoon is like there is this crack of light, and so we see the light, and we we, we just gotta make the effort to break free, and before it is our destiny to become butterflies, and so. Um, and so, uh, so, so we'll break free. We're going to break free, yeah? and so it's it's about um, understanding there's two those two powers that are opposing each other. The media, the media that are trying to all, to keep the whole power structures and the higher forces of the universe that are working from within to break through into a new paradigm. And this is really the, the light whirlwind. It's can, can, it's always been like that. If you, you cannot pen, darkness can never penetrate the light. But if if you go into a dark room with the light, the, the light will penetrate. The, will will, and will show that there is no dark. Um, it was an illusion. So, uh, for evolution is is common thing to all beings and all things. Nobody can prevent evolutions, and it's like something that's common to all. And nobody there is this higher forces of evolution. Yet we have to. So what we have to do is to find the inner peace to to initiate the telepathic connection with ourselves and with our guides as much as possible. We're going to be doing that more and more. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I'm going to pull one more card. This song has been called for me to sing it. I did it in the French video. It's, it's a difficult song to sing a cappella without, without the music support, but I'm going to still try to do it. I don't know why. Maybe there is a message I need to send out there through this song to someone, if you're listening. Because <laughs> like this, called a long, long while. Baby, baby, it's been a long, long time. Been a long, long time, been a long, long time, I was wrong, girl, and you were right. 
Baby, baby, took a long, long while, took a long, long while, took a long, long while, but I found that you were right. <clears throat> Still you have those happy eyes, I will try and apologize. <clears throat> Baby, baby, still the same old smile, still the same old smile, still the same old smile. I was so wrong, and you were right. Still you have those happy eyes. Yes, I'm going to try and apologize. Oh, baby, baby, been a long, long time. Been a long, long time. Been a long, long time. I was wrong and you were right. Oh, baby, baby. Won't you change your mind? Won't you change your mind? Won't you change your mind? I was wrong, girl, but not this time. No, I said, baby, baby, it's been a long, long time. It's been such a long and lonely time. It's been such a long, long time. I was wrong, I admit, I admit you were right. Oh, come on now, baby, baby, just want to change your mind, want to change your mind, want to change your mind. Come on, baby, change your mind. Oh, baby, baby, want to change your mind. Wanna change your mind? I was wrong, girl, and you were right. It's an old song of the Rolling Stones. It just came to me, like, really insisting that I sing this song today. So I thought I'd come and do it. And the card of the day is Yin. It's allowing things to come and flow with grace and ease. Not having to force anything. Not having to rush anything. Not uh, having to just allow things to, to unfold naturally. To, 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 to unfold as a, in divine grace and, and divine timing. Well, I wish you a wonderful day. Today we're with getting together with a group of friends and we're going to go to the planet Venus. It's, it's a little exercise that we do. They've always been very welcome. And Venus, for Venus, is we're looking for extraterrestrial, extraterrestrial civilization in microbes, big form, and they're all on the other side of the galaxy. When they're very, very advanced civilization right next to us on Venus. And we all came, we all had incarnation there before we came down to this world. So we had family there. And it's a six dimensional uh, dimension, uh, free, free of civilization with billions of, of souls that are incarnated there inside the planet, uh, ruled by a ninth dimensional um, administration, the goddess of Venus and his, our sons. And so we're going we're gonna to do that. Uh, very soon, we we'll probably will be able to, to open space agencies to, to teach those techniques. There is a way, if you want to, just so that I share the, these techniques, it's like if you, if you go into meditation and you want to go to that planet Venus, you, you project yourself astrally into the, the Mount Shasta, is a, is, is a mountain in, in California. And you ask to, to find that door. There is this sacred door. You, you see this door to the planet Venus. And then the door opens and there is a stairway that goes down. It's only three steps. You can only see three steps. As we move into the fourth step, you will be there entering into the center of the, into the planet Venus. And then from there, you don't try to control the expense. You allow yourself to be guided. And, and you will see what happens. Well, I hope, that, I hope you do this exercise in your meditation. You can gather with friends and do it in groups. Or, or you can do it alone. It's, there is no... It's very safe to, to travel there. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you very much. And I'll talk to you later. Namaste.